Hello, I'm Dennis with DoItYourselfDennis.com and I'm going to show you how to install vinyl soffit on new construction. Um, there's not a whole lot to it. First, I like to start out at my return end of the soffit and you're just going to get a measurement and you're going to, you're going to cut it about oh, three eighths of an inch short, quarter to three eighths and so we're going to cut this at about 18 and 3 eighths of an inch. So let me get down and I'll show you uh, some things you need to think about when you're going to cut it. Uh, okay, a couple things you're going to need when you're putting the vinyl siding on, or the soffit in this case. Um, you need a hammer, you need a square, tape measure, and the way I cut mine is you can cut them with shears. Uh, and that's how probably most of the professional vinyl siding people do, but I don't have any big shears. The other way of cutting is with a saw, and the way you do it is you turn your blade around backwards, otherwise it chips it out real bad. So you want to cut your blade around backwards, and you want to cut your soffit, or even when you're cutting siding, you cut it upside down. So we're going to measure. It was 18 and 3 eighths. Lost my pencil there for a minute. Uh, something else I want to point out is it's a good idea to have some earplugs because this is very loud. Nails. Yep, nails, my wife said. And I like to get a board. Um, I got a 2 by 12 that's all about, about all I use it for, that and trimming. Um, and put it down, it just gives it some support so it's not bouncing around. And I take a 2 by 4 or something and put it underneath to keep it off of it. And that's about all there is to cutting it. Something else you might want to keep in mind, especially when you're using white, is wash your hands. You don't wash your hands, it gets all on the white and it's just extra work for you. So let me get back up on the ladder and we'll put this up. Okay, so we've got our first piece cut and we're ready to put it up. There's a couple of things you're going to want to keep in mind. Um, this is going to be your nailing flange. And where you don't have one on this side, you don't really have anything to hold the, the soffit up there, you're going to use, they call them trim nails. They're just a little bitty nail, uh, this little white nail, you can buy them Lowe's, uh, Home Depot, wherever, or where you got your soffit at. Um, but anyway, so that's what you're going to use, and we're going to go through the hole on the soffit on this one. Uh, but if you've got solid soffit, you can nail in the valley here, the valley of the soffit. And something you keep in mind to make sure you're, you're square is you can measure across how wide your soffit is. And this one's 13 and a half inches. So to allow for a little bit of expansion and contraction, because that's why we cut it short to start with, it was for expansion and contraction, measure in. You measure 13 and 3 quarters instead of 13 and a half on both ends. And then that should start you out pretty square. So you're going to take your first piece, get your nail, line it up with your, with your line that you made. And you don't want to nail this tight. You just nail it not even snug, you just nail it until the nail just starts to touch the flange or the nailing strip. Not even, you don't even have to let it touch it. Then you're going to go to the other side and nail it up. hard. 
And then we're going to get our little trim nail and just hold it up. Just pick you a hole, make sure you're somewhere where the wood is. And again, you're not going to nail it up tight, you're just going to nail it so that it can kind of sit down on it. You'll nail one on the other side. In case you didn't see my video on getting your soffit board up, I've got a video out that tells you how to how to put your soffit board up, put your return on. Um, so you got your first piece, and I know it droops here and here a little bit, but that's going to be taken care of when you put your aluminum flashing on. Your not flashing, but your aluminum trim on when you put put it on your fascia, and it'll hold it up. You'll bend it. So. Now we're ready to cut the next piece, and uh, let me cut that, and we'll we'll get going on it. Okay, we've got our second piece, so you just bring it up, and you're gonna snap it in, and you just kind of line it up so you got a little gap at each end. Pull it. You don't want to pull it tight. You want to just snug it up a little bit. Again, you still don't you don't nail it tight. Put one of this in. Okay, so that's all there is to putting that on there, and then you just continue all the way to the end. What you're going to do is you're going to put J channel up here, and that's going to hold this up underneath here. So uh, when I get to that, I'll show you how to do that. But uh, you just continue on. And I'll show you how I how I end them once I get to that end. Okay, so now we're to the end or to this other fascia. So all you're going to do is you just measure out, and it's going to be about three eighths of an inch there, and about three eighths of an inch there. So you're going to cut your piece uh, to length, and then cut it to width. So we were at 18 and a quarter, 18 and three eighths. So go ahead and cut. And then we'll be ready to cut the rest of it. And I'll show you when I get down there. Okay. Now that we've got our piece cut to length, now you've got to cut the width. And you're going to cut it from the hanging side. So we'll call it. So we're going to go in the three and eighths, three, three and an eighth of an inch. I'm going to cut it just a little short because we're going to put some aluminum up behind that for the fascia. And that's what will actually, actually hold it. And you can, you can take your pencil and put it on the line, and you can pretty much draw you a line just holding it on the, you know, pressing your finger against the, uh, the rib there and just going down with it. And you can either cut it with the saw, but I usually cut these pieces like this with the, cutters I mean you can cut them all with snips but I just find it easier to cut it with a saw you try to cut this with the saw it wants to push it away and you can get somebody to hold it for you so we're gonna go up and we're gonna put this on okay we got our little piece and you're just gonna snap it in there and it's going to hang up there pretty good. Uh, you know, it's going to take quite a bit of wind to get it out of there. What you're going to end up doing is your J channel is going to come up, so it's going to hold it here. And then your, when you trim the fascia out, where it bends over the hold of that down here. And it's not going to go anywhere. I mean, it's, it's going to stay in there good. And then we're going to wrap this soffit, or this fascia, with aluminum. And it'll slide up right behind it real nice. So that's all there is to hanging soffit. 